just because I like the other side, Olive, we're gonna come over here. No, I gotta give you a hand here, okay? Yeah, you can sit under that. You go ahead, you watch your back. Good girl. This is a little bit tricky. Without ripping your waders, that is. And without breaking your rod. And without getting caught in the tree, which I am. Oh. <laughs> Almost got it. Come on. There we go. Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of New Scotland Fishing Adventures. I'm William, as always. And today is my four-part segment. My fourth episode of the four-part segment that I'm putting together here for you on the Cornwallis River. Today's a special day because it's not the last day, tomorrow's the last day to fish on the Cornwallis River in late October for brown trout. So I could come out tomorrow, but the weather forecast is not the greatest. So it's calling for a lot of rain. It's calling for a cold. I think the high tomorrow is like seven degrees. It's about 10 degrees here today. That's why I've got a long sleeve flannel shirt on. I'm just doing some scouting here. What I'm doing is this section of the Cornwallis runs all the way up. Uh, there's a tree line. It's almost a kilometer, three quarters of a kilometer up the way as the crow flies. And I'm working my way up to that tree line because the water's flowing from left to right here and I'm going to be fishing downriver. So it gives you an opportunity here to sight as you're going up to see if you can see anything. You gotta be careful though because the brown trout are so spooky you don't want to expose yourself. And I just realized I left my glasses in the truck. So that kind of sucks but it's not all that sunny out today anyway. It's all good. Well, my glasses being polarized, they kind of help with seeing. So I'm having a real difficult time here seeing. You've got a polarized filter on the go on your GoPro that you're looking at me right now. So there'll be some opportunity for you guys to see into the water. We're gonna work our way up and see how things look. All right, join me. So today the plan as mentioned is to hike up to the tree line. We're going to check out the uh, the holes as we work our way up and see if there's any opportunities and just make note of the one we come back down through. John McCulloch is supposed to be joining me today, but he's running late right now. This water level is great. But once we make our way back to the overpass, that'll basically wrap up the day. So as I'm shooting this for you right now, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. As you continue to watch, you'll see that I give as much opportunity for the fishing holes as possible to provide some entertainment for you guys and the evening runs pretty late. Hey, open your boat. Today I'm sporting my new Orvis Sling Pack. Absolutely love this thing. I haven't even really used it fishing yet, but just setting it up, oh, it's so much nicer than my previous pack.
this year to come, I have plans to get up into the tree line and further upriver and do a few episodes for you of that section in there. There's lots of opportunities to catch some nice brown trout in there. Something I totally uh, something else I totally forgot today is my wool fingerless gloves uh, mittens. That water is freezing. <laughs> I truly love about having Olive with me on the river is when she sees him trying to be a little bit stealthy she kind of mimics that that same uh, mentality and kind of sneaks along as you see I was pleasantly surprised to see the clouds break and the sun come out as the afternoon progressed. I've only been on the river at this time less than an hour, so it was really nice to see that. It gave me a good feeling of optimism and 
how the day was going to pan out. There's nothing like fishing on a nice sunny day. As the geese flew past overhead, I couldn't help but feel a little bit of sadness knowing that winter is right around the corner and the winter months where fishing season really drops back a lot. And then I all of a sudden hear a bald eagle. It's always nice hearing those. fly fishing people out there watching this video, I think you can fully understand and appreciate every now and then you get the tangled knots and stuff like that in front of your reel and you're trying to fight as you get your line back out there again after getting around an obstacle. For those of you who are watching who don't fly fish, hopefully you start, but don't let something like this kind of distract you from the idea of fly fishing being difficult because it's really not. Just a lot of patience. What I'm doing with my line here is, you see me give it a little bit of action after I cast it out in front of me. What that does is it gives the fly a little bit of lifelike presentation. Hopefully it'll stir the trout out. The section of river that I'm casting into here is a little bit deeper, it's a bit of a pool. It runs anywhere from 14 to 20 some odd inches deep. So it's a nice spot. Trout like to lie here. Come here! As I finish fishing the hole, swim, swim. I'm satisfied there's no fish at this point, or at least nothing taken my line, or I just don't have to look for it this morning. I give all the opportunity to swim through. Hopefully it tires her for the rest swim. of the day. I think it worked. and everything.
mug did you put in over there? I just caught a 10 inch brookie. Yeah, there's a hatch. Uh, there's a midge hatch on the go. Yeah, I've got a number 18 Adams fly on. In this section I decide to turn around and fish upstream to hit the section that I didn't fish yet. One of the troubles with fishing upstream though is the line's working its way quickly back to you and you're constantly trying to take up the slack. Hey guys, so we've been doing a fair bit of scouting lately and I've been watching for a lot of rises and having a fair bit more luck. Uh, I caught a few off camera, unfortunately I thought I hit record. I know some people like to say that, but honestly that's what happened. Anyway, that last one I caught, that was about 10 inches. Nice little brookie. Um, haven't caught any browns yet. It's a little surprising because usually that's all I catch here is brown. But these are nice little wild brook trout. Um, so not too bad. Having fun with it. They're taking dry flies. I've got a number 18 Adams fly on. Yeah, it's just a little bit crazy. There's actually a hatch on the go right now and they were going wild up the way there. Uh, they were just boiling the water. So it was pretty cool. Um, we're gonna scoop down to the next hole here. So let's see some more rises down here. We're gonna see if we can catch some more. All right.
just missed it. Are you scaring everything away? Hey folks, how's it going? Olive and I are just getting some uh, some last minute fast food there. We pulled off the river, it was getting really dark. Um, it was getting to the point that we couldn't even film, it was it was pretty dark. Well that wraps up the end of the, uh, the four part series that I did here for the Cornwallis River in 2021. The end of October, tomorrow technically is still a good day to fish, but it's uh, not nice for weather. It's gonna be super rainy. I'll probably come out anyway, but I won't be filming. I don't want to get the gear all wet. I've already wrote off that one camera from getting soaked. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to avoid the, uh, the possibility of getting anything soaked. It was really nice today. Uh, we ran into a fella named Dylan. Uh, he's from the Halifax area. He came down and he did some, uh, some fishing on the uh, Cornwallis there. We had a nice chat. It was good meeting you, Dylan. Hopefully you, uh, you get a chance to see this. So here's a shout out to you. And I really hope to run into you again sometime on the river. It was, uh, it was great talking to you. Maybe we can uh, meet up there and we can fish some, uh, some of these rivers together. Uh, show me around the, uh, the HRM area. He was talking about some cool sounding spots up around Anaganish, which is on this channel's to-do list to get up that way anyway. Also had a chance to meet up with Johnny. Uh, we planned to meet up today, but he couldn't make it out until later. So it was great to see him get out. He caught a nice uh, brook trout there at the end of the day and uh, that uh, basically saved him from getting skunked. So good on you, Johnny. It was a good sized brook trout too. If you like what you saw today, shoot a thumbs up if you want and uh, or subscribe. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you get prompted when I load new videos for you. I'm gonna try and keep pushing them out as quick as I can edit them. It takes a fair bit. Any of you who do this know that. 
I always enjoy putting this together. I hope to see you on the next episode of uh, New Scotland Fishing Adventures. Until then, fish on. All right.